If you find any technical documents, you should bring them to Proctor Quinlan for analysis. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep a look out for him. Right, hello everyone and welcome back. Another Fallout 4 playthrough. Heard you gave those muties at Fort Strong something to think about. Uh, yeah. You talk about the same thing every time. Um, we're going to get into straight into it today. Let's have a look what we're going to do. We're not going to meet with Deacon at the moment, so we get rid of that. We'll meet up with him later on. Later on in the series, whatever you call it. Uh, we're going to go off to see Piper to get two kill birds with two kill two birds with one stone. <coughs> Almost messed it up yesterday as well. Just gonna tweet them live. Alright, that's that done. <clears throat> Alright, we're gonna go off back to see Piper. I'm four tweeted out, so jump in my power armor. Greetings, man. Saying that, do I need to repair my power armor? I don't know if that's in the game or on my headset. I can hear like a buzzing sound. The Brotherhood behind us will never fall. Yeah, give it a quick. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Forgot they don't share. Keep forgetting that. It's crap how they don't share. There we go. Now I can repair my armor. Repair. Hopefully, I can got enough to repair them all. It wasn't even that damaged, to be honest. But you know, can I upgrade my torso yet? No, I need armor too. We'll save armor too. I'm about to rank up, so we'll get armor too soon. <clears throat> Alright, let's go go talk to Piper. No matter how many battles we win, there's always another fight ahead of us. Got 18 fusion cores. Not bad. <clears throat> Welcome to the stream. Maxon might appear compassionate, but I uh, no one cares what you have to say, mate. Alright. Diamond City Market. We've got to go here anyway to go collect some more bullets before we move on with any quest. So go get some bullets, then go talk to Piper. If she's at the paper shop, if I remember correctly. And then I may need to send... I think one of them has to come with me, I think. Unless it's optional. Then I keep my brotherhood still going with me. 
Gonna nip to these shops. Uh, you need protection. Everyone does. Okay. So you have. Feel free to test the grips. I need your ten mil rounds. I don't have much money. All right, let's go straight across to your armor. I don't need anything else. Um, I need your shotgun rounds. What can I sell him? Can't sell him anything. What else can you give me? Uh, weapon wise, I don't care about that. Get my weapons up. That's twenty six. It's twenty two. Mine's better. Uh, switchblade. Now nah, we'll stick with what we've got. No, no. Confirm trade, yeah. I need your bullets. Let's go get bullets off it. Alright, got plenty of supplies. Thank you. Let's see what you got. Just don't call it junk. It's all junk to me. Don't worry about it. I'll take all your ten mil rounds. And all your shotgun rounds. Thank you. That's all I need. Now I better go find some more. Bloody money. Yes. Huh? Beb. The latest hairstyle. Yes. From the upper stand. <coughs> Let's go talk to Piper. Miss Pipe Pipe to Piper. Well, well. Nikki Valentine walks into my office for a change. What can I say, Piper? You, me, and hard luck all seem to run together like acid rain down an old sewer. You, uh, including your client here in that analogy? So, you two are finally letting me in on this little case of yours. What's the story? Where do you want me to start? The part where Kellogg turned out to be working for the Institute? Or the part where he told me they have Sean and me? The Institute. Oh boy. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> The Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. Man like that would have had access. In and out. But we both know that angle isn't going to work. Because he's dead. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. He wasn't gonna talk. Even if I had a way of bringing him in alive. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. I hope Good idea. Right, Nick. Let's see. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Oh, yeah, Actually, I think 
think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth. So, who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm going to introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. I already have someone with me. I'll meet you there, Nick. All right. See you at the den. Don't worry. We're going to get your boy back. Just a few more steps. While you two are out, I'm going to do some more research. I'll be here if you need me. And by the way, at some point, you owe me an interview. I want to hear how this whole story got started. Mm, we'll see, we'll see. All right, ready to go? Where's the exit? Is this the exit? Yeah, this is the exit. Maybe I'll go to some place called the Memory Den. Where's this Memory Den? Good neighbor, there is. Go ahead there. Hello and welcome. Memory Den thing may better work. Now I've upgraded in level, I'll get that uh, armor rank 2, I think it was, I needed. Hope it was that. Could be wrong. Only the first time I was wrong. Get it anyway. Come on, don't crash on me. Okay, now which way do I need to go? This way. the memory den place. Cheers to the backup. Uh, that don't look like an entrance. Yeah, I'll take them off your hands. I'll take that off to sell. They're not giving me away. Where's this memory den place? Take that, take that. Still, my bullets on this. Nothing, but mate. How are you? Lord Red, how are you doing, mate? How's everything going? Oh, nuclear material. Gonna need that for some sights. That's good. 
How the hell do I get in this place? Clearly not up there, so we'll go all around. Oh, here's the entrance. Check out your channel, take a look at that show. Yeah, that's what I thought I did, so I thought I'd stream for a bit. Hey, hold up there. First time in good neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. You better back off, or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. Well, well hey, all right. We'll just say your insurance is paid up for now, okay? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Time out. Someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. Good to see you again, Nick. Cock. What do you care? He ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said let him go. You soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new mayor. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. <laughs> now, why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. I don't know. Now I know you had old Finn handled back there, but a mayor's got to make a point sometimes. Yeah, right. you kill him, I take his stuff. Yeah. I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Hmm. Sure. Yeah, I feel you. Good. You stay cool, and you'll be part of the neighborhood. So long as you remember who's in charge. Bang bang. You don't seem to like anything. Whoever this brotherhood of steel is, we're well, not by them. Hello. Come in peace, Marky. They're Everything nasty fuckers, I don't like them. To injure, maim, or kill <clears> at <throat> discretion. Except me. I only kill when I want to. Of course, sure. I'm from. Take a look. Let's get you outfitted, killer. Well, let's have a look what you got. I ain't got much money. Sell you some crap. Oh, I was gonna say, sell you them as well. Let's sell you them. I'm not going around punching anyone at the moment. Uh, medics you can have. You can have mats, I don't use them. You can have that, I don't eat. Done that trade. I got two hundred and twenty-one. So let's take you ten mils. Don't seem like much, but forty-four bullets is better than nothing. Whoa! Now that's <sighs> some armor. Check out those hydraulics. <coughs> Brotherhood of Steel, better stay out of good neighborhood. Whatever, I'll kill you all. You look at this part of the main quest, otherwise I would have killed you all right now. Hmm. Well, well, Mr. Valentine. Dr. Amari? Yes. I take it this isn't a social call. 
Nope. We need your help, Doctor. I need the memories from a man named Kellogg. But he's dead. I know it's asking for a miracle, Omari. But you've pulled off the impossible before. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse. You don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Please. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. <coughs> the biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? There you go. Here's no, I don't want it. What I can find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait, that's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? I won't pretend to know Circles what that is. Look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Uh, Skip to the good part, Doc. We plug the brain implant into Mr. Valentine, assuming he's willing to take on the risks. Hell, why not? Plenty of room in my head anyway. Well, what's left of it? I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. All right, let's do this. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine, just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see you. If I sit down? I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any? There's a lot of flashes. You're not even touching it. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Tell me you have a way past this, Doc. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Just to stop this conversation. Just sit down over there <coughs> and keep your fingers crossed. See you on the other side. Oh. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Stream on Twitch, mass sub gifting alerts have arrived. You can, can now you track me? your. Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. <coughs> oh, okay, I'm moving now, am I? Oh, what the. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. Where? This way. This looks so weird. Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. 
This may prove disorienting at first. Oh, okay. This moving. doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. There appears to be another <coughs> memory close to you in temporal sequence. Nah, there. that's not what I'm looking for. Let's keep looking. Can't see I'll my kid. You to the next intact memory. I'm so glad they let you do this. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? I found another memory to try. I'll connect you. Nah, it's not going to work because my kid's not there. Mind if we uh, sit down? Which way? This yourself. way. Well, we kids seem to be there. getting closer. Yep, we'll seem to be. One. Okay. Are you playing on PC? No, I'm playing on Xbox One. Am I heading back? I'm heading back. <laughs> I just turned myself around into. you decided to meet with me so you're with the institute Get yeah yeah get him warmer has got to tell us something uh, they probably all tell me a little bit of something but uh, i'm trying to find my son oh there's one that looks mostly intact connecting now yeah i've seen this bit if all computers are still working yeah That's good. checking through the logs hopefully it's all just find it Oh, there's me. Down the hall near the end. Oh, there's Sean. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. I'm going, I'm going. Go through this fast. Here we go. There's my son. Is that your son? Wasn't my idea to settle to down with a kid memory. in the middle of Diamond so, City. Good news, I think. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid. Like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. <laughs> a reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. <laughs> Well, so that's as far as I can go, so this is the last member. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. I'm guessing if you're asking that question, you play this on PC then. Kellogg. It's okay. One of these days, you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Names, Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. The new breed of synths could easily pass as human. Some of them did. But the coursers, they weren't built to blend in. They were killing machines, pure and simple. Smarter. Stronger and faster than almost any real human. I'm just glad they were always on my side. The heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or 
Just elimination. Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate. <coughs> You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. But the cry. And I can't get over crying. X688. Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. <laughs> I killed him. Bye. And nobody's crying. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. The faster the better. I'm so gonna get copyrighted for this stuff. Slow movements, okay? I don't Let's know what kind of side effect procedure might have had. That'll be fine. Ooh, man, I'm trying to nick. Whose radio is that? I got radio on. No, I don't. I'm not snicking, Emma. Doctor Amari. Let's start over. How are you feeling? Uh, fine. I'm okay, Doctor. Thank you. That's good. But I want you to keep monitoring yourself. We have to be sure there's no long-term damage. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? We got what we needed. The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. Yes. Their greatest secret has finally been revealed. But that only leads to more questions. How does it work? Where do we go next? Virgil. That scientist Kellogg was supposed to track down. Virgil, we need to find him. You're right. A rogue institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That doesn't make sense. No one goes there. Not even if they were desperate. If we need to find Virgil, then I'm going after him. If you're going to go, be prepared. You'll need some way to combat the radiation there. It's called the glowing sea. A reason. I'll find a way to get through the rads. Don't worry. Good luck and be safe. Where is that? I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Remove the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Thank you. Find Virgil in the glowing sea. This should be interesting. Hey, Valentine. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Kellogg? Is that you? What? What are you talking about? You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. Or I could head back to Diamond City, since you've got company already. <laughs> I'll see you around, Nick. Good luck out there. You know where to find me. I think you sounded pissed.
Right, I've got to go find Virgil in the glowing sea. Wherever that is. Oh, oh I'm getting tired. Right, let's go find this Virgil. Where's the glowing sea? Oh. Find Virgil I'm just there. Go to where we'll take a walk up. It's a bit loud on my behalf. Why in the glowing sea? Been here before. Unless it's just a storm. We don't need to go. Let's follow this road straight down. I don't get why the game's not like this all the time. It looks airy and creepy. Looks a lot better. Can I click that? No. Heading the right way? No, I need to head this way a little bit. Follow this road straight down. That for a second looked like a face. I heard something then. <coughs> We're going to the big creatures now. Talking. Sounds like a radio actually. Wow, it's 
people got wrecked. I can see clearly now the storm is gone. Anything in it? What's that noise? Off chicken. I just fell through the floor. Where are you? Sit down, boy. Right, let's keep. I'm wasting too many bullets on these things. Can't see anything of worth in here. How much further do I need to go? Not much further. Let's get back on the road. It seems it'll be a lot more safer on the road. They seem to come back out, um, come out of the waterfront. Oh, well, where's the word? A little bit further. Head in the right way? Yeah, that's just my cursor. Such heavy footsteps. How much further? This way. Keep fire on the road. We're losing the nighttime cover. Maybe we lost our nighttime cover a long time ago. We're just gonna fight it straight down. Yeah, keep shredding straight down. I know you've got a little map icon at the bottom of the screen, but I can't personally see it because, um,. The Twitch meet is there and I don't know how to move it. It says how many viewers I've got and how long I've been streaming for. I personally can't see it. Is this where I need to be? Oh no, I gotta walk to the edge.
this is where the creatures are going to get big, aren't they? Yeah, radiation start to go up. Guessing this is where all the bombs first dropped. They're not that bad. Still flowers growing here. bullets I need. We may have a problem here. It helps going back up. Why on earth is his health going back up? To go. Keep going straight. Hoping I have enough bullets to get through this place. I need to buy myself a new charger cable. That's all I need. What the hell was that noise? How much further? A little bit further. So basically we're just on the outskirts of the glowing sea. This is this is nothing. Now we're starting to get into the thick of it. No 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 no. Me, me, me. No, no, no. I'm stuck. This is why I was afraid of. Why am I stuck? There we go. Let's go over. My radiation is going up. Oh, run! No, I'm not finding another one.
My armor's not gonna last out here. Jesus Christ. Got a little bit further to go. Sorry for my controller and die. Even if my armor don't last, my bullets aren't going to certainly last. A little bit further. Oh, they're not too... Oh, legendary, no. Jesus. Did you kill that legendary one? Is that the legendary one? What are you giving me? I'll take it. I'll take it to sell. this place aim for the stinger my bullets mate I'm out of bullets Wanna rank up fast? Come here. Parking garage. I don't need a parking garage. How much further? Following it straight down. Let's just run, I got plenty of fusion cords, let's go. Jesus Christ, are you right down there? Where are you? Mate, you just brought tons of him to me. Jesus Christ. Everything I'm collecting I can possibly sell anyway. 
I've got five minutes left. I'm not even there yet. Gotta get over the side of this mountain. Yeah, literally further up. Can you deal with him seriously? I don't have enough bullets for this shit. I'm so sorry about this episode. All the swearing, all the shouting, being angry. What on earth is this place? Crater of Atom. I can steal. Wait, who lives here? Stop right there, stranger. You approach Atom's holy ground. Why? State your purpose or be divided in his sight. Holy ground? Atom? What's going on here? Atom reached out and touched this world, bringing it slow to us. It remains to this day a reminder of his promise. Infinite worlds through division. What is this place? This is where we commune with Adam himself. I am surprised you have survived long enough to reach it. What is this place? This is where we commune... Uh -huh. Virgil? Yes, we know this Virgil. What do you want with him? I just need some information from him. I see. In truth, this Virgil has caused some concern. Some believe his presence is an affront to Adam. Though he came to trade with us on a few occasions, we have had little other contact with him. It was quite clear he wanted to be left alone. You can find him southwest of the crater living in a cave i would approach cautiously were i you i feel he does not want visitors we'll give you that idea well, i think this is a great place to end it don't you we're um, in the presence of atom the great god of atom so We'll end it here and we'll pick it up again tomorrow to where we'll be going to see Virgil who is further out. So yeah, we'll pick it up tomorrow. Go visit Virgil, go talk to him, get what we need or do what we need and then we can teleport to safety back in here. You won't think anyone ever say that's safety but you know. Let's have a look. I've got that. There you go. It'll help. You are now 40% harder to detect while sneaking and no longer trigger enemy traps. What? How do I check the... You are now 50% harder to detect while sneaking, running no longer affects stealth. Engaging stealth causes distant enemies to lose you. Oh, that's cool. As an age, what the hell? As an agent, ah, uh, well, as an agent of death itself, you can instantly kill a sleeping person. Your silenced weapons does an additional fifteen percent attack. That's the one I need as well. Silent, your silenced weapon does an additional thirty sneak attack. Fifty percent more. I'll have to. Uh, 
read through some of these and actually think about which one I want. I'm going stealth no matter what. I need to zoom out. Zoom out. But yeah, so I need to get... Commando. You up to max. You up to max. And my silence pistol be beast. What's that one? Train as a shadow warrior ninja. Your ranged sneak attacks. And that. So that is... I've done that once, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this is rank up ten more times. Well, it says they require level 40, 49, so we're level 15, so. Rank up 10 more times and we'll be at 25. And we can slowly build these up. But I reckon by that time comes out and we'll probably complete the game. But once the game's completed, if you guys want to carry on watching me play it, uh, play it, mess about for it, do random quests, rank up, then it's up to you. Or if there's some way to prolong a game, I don't mind. If that's what you guys want. But... Thank you very much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Because I'm actually enjoying making these. How long did that just say? I've been playing this for nine hours. I won't actually think it. So I should have at least nine videos. Oh, wow. Well, I hope you enjoy all nine videos. I'll see you tomorrow for the next one. And if you're watching this on YouTube and you're new there, please hit that subscribe button. Also, that notification bell helps us both. And hit that like button if you do like what you see. Only only press it if you do like what you see. And obviously, only subscribe if you like what you see. So, thank you very much, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.